I can start right away. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Uh, nothing. Let's say it was our our first uh, real test this this year. Uh, we're building something new, and uh, uh, we for sure need some time to uh, to get into game shape. But I think it was a good lesson for us today. Um, regarding the game, I think uh, in the first half we had a lot of troubles with, with defense, especially. And then in the second half we picked it up on defense, but uh, we had some stupid turnovers that, that cost us the game. Uh, me personally, I feel like we have a lot of improvement, uh, room for improvement. And um, nothing, we just have to continue to work. Uh, like I said, it's the beginning. And uh, we have some time to... to uh, erase these errors and uh, you know be ready for for the start because it will be a hard hard season. It was a first good test for Jalgiris too, and you played against Jalgiris for many times the past few seasons. And Jalgiris has a new coach, new style. What, what main differences you noticed so far? Um, they play much uh, much fr uh, much more free. You know, I think uh, uh, with Charas they really had. Uh, exact uh, tasks on the court. Uh, it seems like this coach gives them more freedom, and then uh, you know, Jalgiris is always a, a talented team every year. They have talented players. Uh, I like the young guy. Uh, yes, I like him a lot. His game is very nice, and uh, uh, you can see how how much he's he's evolving. So you know, I think Jalgiris will have a have a great season this year. What expectations about this season uh, you have for the team? Personally, me personally, uh, I came to Panathinaikos to to let's say make a new start. Uh, my last two years were not so good, so uh, I'm trying to get back to my best basketball. I think I'm in my uh, in my best stage for basketball, and uh, it's a good place for me. Uh, so I'm really looking forward for 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 the season. I feel good, I feel healthy, and uh, hopefully I can continue like this. That's it. Thank you. Hello to everyone. It was a good game for us. We play against one team that uh, really they put pressure. They play very aggressive, and uh, this is uh, the Euroleague level. And for us, it was a great lesson how we must approach and how we must prepare one game. First of all, congratulations, Algiers, for this game and for this win. We, we took we take a, we took some lessons for us that away, especially if you have 17 assists and uh, 15 assists, you cannot win. And uh, we will use this picture, this uh, video, to improve 
Uh, this is um, after five months. This game is very important, and uh, I think will help us. Uh, will help. Uh, they will help uh, our team. Coach, it seems like you're starting a, a new year, era with the new, new you know, board without Nicolatis. Uh, also, uh, what kind of culture you, you want to build uh, for this season of Um As we said many times, it's uh, something new for Panagos. Uh, without uh, Mr. Dimitris Yanakopoulos, uh, with this difficult situation with COVID, that we never, we don't know how will be during the season, uh, the situation. We built one team with uh, young. Uh, I think we have one of the lower lowest uh, age in the in the league, and I think this is what we prepare. We prepare one team that he play with great energy. He must play better defense for sure than uh, especially first uh, half uh, to find open shot to run and after this is our job. Uh, to, imp to read the situation and read more the game uh, day by day and uh, game by game. Facing this COVID situation, what are your hopes and fears regarding the, this uh, upcoming season? First of all, we don't know even we don't know exactly how we'll travel, how we'll go to some countries that uh, for Greece. So right now it's not easy. We don't know what will happen if we have one case in our team, what will happen if we have a case when we play away. It's a lot of things that we need to, we need to walk, we need to see how we'll uh, act. And uh, I think uh, the only message I, um, we, can, we must have is that we must play. We must find a way to play. Uh, we must continue our life and we must find a solution. Are you happy with the, all the safety measures in Kaunas about all the you know Euroleague protocol uh, regarding the safety measures? Uh, the, the protocol, I think, it's, uh, it's pretty it's good. Everything uh, works correctly, but uh, this is what we discuss. If you fly, it was, uh, you go to the airport. We had two connection flights. We saw so many people. It's not easy. This is the reality. We, we will protect ourselves, we will protect the team, we will protect uh, all, the, all the members of the club, but uh, it will not be easy. We need to face what will happen in any case, in any situation. Coach, last year you beat Sharas Jalgris, now you're facing a different kind of Jalgris. Can you uh, point out the main difference of this new Jalgris? I think it's uh, too early for all the teams to see exactly what kind of basketball they will play. But I saw one team today that uh, they play with great energy. Uh, they try to run, they try to run more, they try to find uh, more open shot. But uh, as I said, I think it's too early to say exactly what kind of teams will have during the season. Thank you. Thank you.
Hey everybody. Uh, comments about the game. Uh, this is our first game where we um, played well defensively or did some good things defensively. Kept a, a number that we're happy with, 74 points. I think it's pretty good. Um, 81 points is way less you know, points than we scored through our, our preseason time. So uh, it was nice to see that we can kind of mix it up and play a, a low scoring game and uh, still come out on top. Um, I thought a lot of guys did a lot of things well tonight, and uh, it'll be a quick turnaround for tomorrow. You mentioned defense a lot. Uh, what is special about defense this year in this new Jaguars? Um, it'll have to come down to our physicality. That's that's what will uh, that's what you know a lot of defense is, um, and what what makes a lot of defenses good. Um, and our good possessions tonight were when we were physical and able to get over screens, and our bad possessions tonight were when we got stuck on screens and kind of let them do what they wanted to do um, instead of of uh, you know making them do what we wanted them to do. So uh, just being physical with it, I think will be our, our backbone. And the other which noticed that under the guidance of Martin Schiller, you are playing with much more freedom at the court when compared to Shire's system. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that personally? Is coach is letting you make your own mistakes and be more free on the court? Uh, yeah, I think you know anybody can see it's a, just a completely different system. You know. Uh, um, you know, I, I uh, like the like like the system, like what we have going on. Um, I definitely think you can see how how much faster we're shooting the ball, um, and uh, you know, I know we didn't shoot it well tonight, uh, but that's that's basketball. That's why you know, going back to our our last point, you know, it doesn't matter if uh, we're shooting you know fast, slow, free, not free. If they're not going in, they're not going in. You know, it's going to come down to defense. In this completely different system, how, did your role and duties change? Um, I think, uh, for the most part, as a point guard, your your uh, responsibilities always stay the same. You know, you're the leader, you're the commander, you're the one putting everybody in positions. Um, tactically, some things uh, are different, but basketball is still going to be basketball. And uh, like I said, it's it's the you know being the coach on the floor. Um, that's always going to be a responsibility of, of a point guard, no matter what system you're in. Uh, Thomas, do you train Aliyup now in, in practice? Uh... <laughs> no, JoJo's just really good at catching him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's something something we work on. And uh, with a big target like him, you know, you can you can see how well he's moving out there. Uh, you know, last couple of years he's he's been injured, and uh, you know he showed up in, in great shape this year, uh, moving really well, and uh, he gives a big target up there. That's for sure. Thomas, obviously a new system, new coach. Uh, but how much does it help uh, for the team perform like this, uh, having so many guys coming back from last season? It's very important. You know, uh, we have such a strong core. Um, Jan Kunis, uh, Malaknis, Marius, myself, you know, guys coming back, um, you know, for uh, Marius and I now, this is three years. So, um, yeah, it's a new system and everything, but we know to expect, um, you know, with EuroLeague, um, you know, we, we know the, the LKL very well. There's a lot of things that just coming back to the same club, the same team, um, you know, that familiarity, um, you know, there's a lot to be said for that and uh, that experience. And uh, I think we have a good, good, strong core. And when implementing a new system, I think that's very important. You, you have seen the evolution of uh, Rocco Circobaitis up close. Uh, can you just talk about his performance tonight and what he improved the most in the last half year? Yeah, I can't help but smile because it is so great to see. You know, when I showed up, I don't know what he was 16, 17 years old, and, you know, he was just a young kid. Now he's starting to fill, uh, fill out, you know, physically. He's uh, much more confident. He's shooting the ball well. Uh, you know, and, and tonight is not a surprise, you know, for the people, part of the club, you know, the teammates, the coaches, whatever. Uh, you know, he's he's a really good player. He's been doing that in practice. He's been doing that in preseason games. And, uh, you know, the kid has an unbelievable bright future, and uh, he deserves it because it works really hard. All good. Thanks, guys.
Hello, good evening. So, um, I thought, uh, first of all, it was, uh, it was really nice being in here with fans. I know the, the arena was not as full as it normally is, obviously. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, still, despite not being full, it was really loud and really, really nice atmosphere. So I'm really happy uh, that, that, you know, a lot of people were here. We didn't know a couple of days ago how many people would come. So we're very happy uh, for the support of the fans. That's the first thing. The second thing is um, we are um, happy about, about you know, the, the, the game, the way we played. Um, due to a couple of things. I think, number one, we rebounded the ball decently. This was a very big topic for us. We needed to rebound the ball against a very tall team. Number two, we didn't turn the ball over um, extremely high. I think we had 12 turnovers, which is, um, you know, fine. And we had turned the ball over too much in the games before in the preseason. Um, and number three, I think we shot the ball at 22% from three and still got up to 80 points. So that gives us kind of confidence that if we can make some open shots, uh, we'll look decent offensively. I think in the second half, we got beaten to the middle too often in the half court. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Coach, the score in these kind of games are not that important, but how important was it to win for you in pl playing your first game in front of these fans? <clears throat> I thought, I think it's important. Um, I think it's um, almost, it's even more important though, uh, competing and playing uh, uh, well, you know. Um, but then if, uh, while competing and playing well, uh, and kind of working on things and getting some things done, uh, you can you can get a win in a preseason game like this. And it's the first game in the gym. Obviously, it helps. There's no no doubts about it. Coach, can you uh, share uh, what was the uh, first taste of Euroleague for you personally, and uh, how how much does it differ from your previous experience as, as basketball coach? <clears throat> The biggest difference is uh, the biggest difference to I want to say uh, North America and um, also Germany is the physicality. Um, it, it's it's a very physical game, and I would say that's the biggest difference. Um, second biggest difference is the absolute willingness to move the basketball. Um, there 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 are a lot of you don't have to like ask people to hit the open man. The open man is normally hit and found um, on this level. And I think those are the biggest differences. Uh, the young kid, Rocco Sikobetis, had a pretty impressive performance tonight. Uh, what do you think about uh, this performance and also uh, what kind of role he might take this season in your rotation? I agree with you. I thought he had a good game on both ends of the floor. Um, obviously, Rokas is um, a child of this club and um, uh, a project of this club that we have to take care of and that we have to keep building and growing. So um, <clears throat> that's, uh, I want to say, part of my job description to, to help him grow and we will do our best. Coach uh, Steve Osturi is, is tasting his first experience versus EuroLeague teams. Uh, it seems like he's working well on the defense. How are you happy with his performance and those first experience playing against uh, such, such a level team like Panathinaikos? And also guarding Nedovic, right? So I thought he had a very tough matchup. And, and yes, Nedovic scored the basketball, but still I thought he did a decent job. Um, Steve's quality is, is uh, he's, a, he's an absolute intangibles player. He's an extremely good role player who um, doesn't need the ball in his hands in order to make a difference for the team. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't think one, one should always look at the plus minus. That's, that's a stat that is not always true, but his plus minus is very often high and positive uh, in the past. So 
Uh, that's the kind of player he is, and, and uh, we, we very much value that. Uh, he played in a very big role in Fechter in Germany last year, um, which I think helped his development as well. Just having the ball in his hands a lot, and more than he had before. And um, no, we're happy to have him. Uh, coach, please tell uh, when should you and club make a decision uh, about moving some players uh, on loan to, to other teams? Uh, or maybe you already decided to, to keep everybody? We have not decided yet, and um, we really don't know. I'm sorry, I can't comment. What is the main reason why Patricio Agarino is not playing yet, and what is the expected timeline for his return? Uh, the main reason is very easy. He's coming back from an ACL. His ACL, his knee is totally fine, so structurally totally fine. Uh, the only thing is that his muscles around the uh, the knee and his like upper leg muscles are not all the way there yet to protect it. So we uh, uh, like made the decision to keep him out longer and have our athletic staff work him so it is super secure before he comes back. Now, the timeline, uh, I don't want to lie to you, so I, I, I know it is somewhere, it's some, it, it is still a little bit, uh, like I think we're talking, I think we're talking another four weeks or something. Uh, I, I've, I've got to go back to the office and look at my whiteboard where I've put it down. So uh, he, it's still a little bit because you have to understand he'll have to jump back into basketball practice, right? And then after jumping back into basketball practice, he'll have to find a rhythm, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, it, it takes a little while, but uh, his knee is totally fine and we're only taking care of it that it's secure and he doesn't re-injure anything. Coach, these five guys started the, all, all four games so far. Uh, what's your philosophy on that? Uh, do you stick with these five guys going into the season? Do you like to switch it sometime? Um, <clears throat> you know, like to switch it if it's necessary. Uh, I, I do not think that you will see us uh, playing like a different starting lineup every game. I don't think so. Um, but uh, you will see different lineups, I believe. Uh, we're not married to the lineup by no means. Um, so, you know, a little variation. But um, as we find roles and positions, um, you know, we like to, we like to um, kind of be clear in our structure. It was the first game for Augustin Rubit also. Uh, what was the impression and how he is he doing you know, in the preseason with the new team? I thought the game was good for him. I think he didn't score a point. Is that correct? Uh, I think he didn't score a point. I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, two things. Number one, he just jumped into practice in Palanga, so basically four days ago. That's the one thing. The other thing is he plays in two positions, the five and the four, which is complex. You know, it's more difficult than only playing one position. And um, for uh, under those circumstances, I thought he did a good job. Thomas Dimshra didn't play today. Uh, does he have any health uh, problems? Or? Uh, no, it was a, a decision that had to be made due to um, Y you know, rotations, you know. So he's healthy. What you're going to remember the most about, you know, this first experience playing with the fans, with all the chants before the game, with the anthem and stuff, what made you the, mo the biggest impression? Mm, I think the biggest impression is just the fact that we're in preseason, you know, and, and, and uh, the fans are really enthusiastic. And that goes hand in hand with everything that was told to me that goes hand in hand with everything i feel uh on the streets um you know jalgiris is obviously like is such a big part of this city and it's really impressive because you know you hear it and you know it and everybody tells you but then if you live it it's a whole different story right so um um you know so it's a, it's a, it's an impressive impressive thing Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.